let's run some tests. Yo, what's up? It's Pat here, and today we're going to be putting these three USB slash XLR microphones up against each other to see which one sounds the best, which one's the most economical, and which one you should potentially try in case you're getting into podcasting or videos or live streaming. Our first contender today is the Audio-Technica ATR2100, which has actually been recently discontinued, which is really sad because a lot of people have recommended it. I've recommended it in the past. We're going to pit this up against its replacement, which is here in the center, the ATR2100. X, which is a USB-C connection versus a USB-A on the regular. And then over here on the outside, we have the Samson Q2U, a USB-A connection. However, it's always been recommended alongside the ATR2100, and we're going to see which one sounds better in both USB connection and another test with the XLR connection into a mini recorder. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Now, I know what you might be thinking. What is the deal with that orange tape in the middle? That's super ghetto looking, and it is because that's all I could do to save this stand. Just side note, if you're going to buy the ATR2100X, the accessories, like the stand that comes with it, well, they're pieces of... Yeah, they're, they're not... They're not good. So here is how this is going to work. I'm going to have all three mics recording at the same time, and we're just going to go one, two, three, ATR, ATR-X, and then the Samsung Q2U. We're just going to notice the differences. I'll try to go rapid fire between the different uh, sounds, and then we can determine which one sounds better. I'm going to be recording into GarageBand. I have all three mics currently hooked up via USB into three different tracks here in GarageBand. Yes, which is possible. I get a lot of questions. How do you connect multiple USBs and insert them into different tracks on your computer? Well, I have a video for that. So you can actually see the video in the description below or up in the info card right now. Okay, so for test number one, we're gonna test just a regular desktop microphone situation with the mic pointed to my mouth from about eight inches away. Yeah, about eight inches. I'm gonna face forward as I record, but you should be able to see on the screen right now that there is audio coming through into each of these microphones, which I have labeled here for you. So I'm gonna hit record and go for about 10 seconds, and then you're gonna hear the three different versions. So first you'll hear it on the microphone on top of the camera, then we're gonna go ATR2100, ATR2100X, and then the Samson Q2U. So here we go. Hey, what's up? This is Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you subscribe to the podcast because we got a lot of great content coming your way, and make sure you hit that like button if you're watching this on YouTube because that helps with the algorithm. So thank you so much for that. Cool, let's see how it sounds. Hey, what's up? This is Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you subscribe to the podcast because we got a lot of great content coming your way and make sure you hit that like button if you're watching this on YouTube because that helps with the algorithm. So thank you so much for that. Hey, what's up? This is Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you subscribe to the podcast because we got a lot of great content coming your way and make sure you hit that like button if you're watching this on YouTube because that helps with the algorithm. So thank you so much for that. Hey, what's up? This is Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you subscribe to the podcast because we got a lot of great content coming your way and make sure you hit that like button if you're watching this on YouTube because that helps with the algorithm. So thank you so much for that. So which one did you think sounded better? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. The ATR2100X seems quite a bit louder, and we saw this in the last video that I did. It just has a little bit more power to it, and that's expected because it's $30 more. But it's also the front-facing microphone here. So what if I switched it, for example, with the ATR2100, which was quite soft, or the Samson Q2U? So let's try that out. I'm gonna move the ATR2100X, and actually, let's put the Samson Q2U in the middle, and we'll just record another sample and see what happens. Hey, what's up? This is Pat Flynn, and welcome to Ask Pat 2.0, episode 1,469,746. ,000, no, I haven't actually recorded that many episodes yet, but I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you so much. Hey, what's up? This is Pat Flynn, and welcome to Ask Pat 2.0, episode 1,469,746. Hey, what's up? This is Pat Flynn, and welcome to Ask Pat 2.0, episode 1,469,746. Hey, what's up? This is Pat Flynn, and welcome to Ask Pat 2.0, episode 1,469,746.
Now let's move the ATR2100 to the front in the middle and see if that makes a difference. Because the ATR2100 is definitely a little bit low on the capture. Hey, once again, it's Pat Flynn here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's episode, I am interviewing Elon Musk about the Model G, the 17th vehicle in the line of, of Teslas that I don't even know what I'm saying. I just, I want my Model Y already. Hey, once again, it's Pat Flynn here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's episode, I am interviewing Elon Musk about the Model G. Hey, once again, it's Pat Flynn here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's episode, I am interviewing Elon Musk about the Model G, the 17th Hey, once again, it's Pat Flynn here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's episode, I am interviewing Elon Musk about the Model G, the 17th. All right, so it's obvious that you need to be speaking into the microphone directly, but even then, the ATR2100 was struggling a little bit compared to the ATR2100X, and the Samsung Q2U is doing really well. It doesn't quite capture the range as much as the ATR2100X, and perhaps now we're starting to see where that extra $30 is actually being put to use. However, I'm still very impressed with the Samsung Q2U, and it sounds really, really good to me right now compared to the others, especially at the $30 plus price point for the X. Hmm. Now let's test some background noise. Can you hear the background noise in the microphone? This is how we do it. Oh. So what do you think? Does it pick up room noise? I can't tell. I'll have to check. But I'm seeing a few readings on the computer. Let's check it out. Can you hear the background noise in the microphone? This is how we do it. Oh. Can you hear the background noise in the microphone? This is how we do it. Oh. Can you hear the background noise in the microphone? This is how we do it. Oh. So which one do you feel performed better in the background noise test? Again, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. All right, and finally, we're gonna hook up the microphones to my Zoom H6 handy recorder. There's four microphone inputs here for XLR, so we can connect each of these three microphones, uh, one into each track, and then we're gonna set the same setting for each of them and then record like we did before and see what happens. Again, the ATR2100, the ATR2100X, and then the Samsung Q2U. So here we go, I'm gonna hit record. Hey, what's up? It's Pat Flynn here. Thank you so much for joining me today here on my YouTube channel. And I appreciate you. If you hit subscribe, that would mean the world to me. If you hit like, that'd be awesome too. And I hope you have a chance to leave a comment in the section, a comment in the comments. So I wish I could edit this, but I can't. So let's play them all one by one. Hey, what's up? It's Pat Flynn here. Thank you so much for joining me today here on my YouTube channel. And I appreciate you. If you hit subscribe, that would mean the world to me. If you hit like, that'd be awesome too. And I hope you have a chance to leave a comment in the section a comment in the comments. I wish I could edit this, but I can't. So let's play them all one by one. Hey, what's up? It's Pat Flynn here. Thank you so much for joining me today here on my YouTube channel. And I appreciate you. If you hit subscribe, that would mean the world to me. If you hit like, that'd be awesome too. And I hope you have a chance to leave a comment in the section, a comment in the comments. I wish I could edit this, but I can't. So let's play them all one by one. Hey, what's up? It's Pat Flynn here. Thank you so much for joining me today here on my YouTube channel. And I appreciate you. If you hit subscribe, that would mean the world to me. If you hit like, that'd be awesome too. And I hope you have a chance to leave a comment in the section, a comment in the comments. I wish I could edit this, but I can't. So let's play them all one by one. Cool. So how do those sound to you? Now we're going to do a background check. I'm just going to make some noise. I'm not going to say anything, but I'm just going to ruffle around sort of behind the microphone here, maybe... Three feet behind, then I might do some crazy stuff too. So let's hit record. Whew, we're almost at a quarter million subscribers. It's crazy. Crazy. Whew, we're almost at a quarter million subscribers. It's crazy. Crazy. Whew, we're almost at a quarter million subscribers. We're almost at a quarter million subscribers. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right. So what did you think? Personally, after doing a test like this, I feel that, well, of course, the ATR2100X sounds the best. It's also $30 more. It does have a little bit more drive. Plus, you have the benefit of plugging into anything with a USB-C connection. I think it was definitely a fair upgrade from the 2100, which is, again, discontinued. However, this mic, the, the old reliable here, I mean, this thing, if you, if you at least get it really close to your mouth, you can get a really good voice at a very cheap price. But like I said, this is discontinued. You may be able to find it uh, online at different retail stores if they still have some in stock, or maybe even on eBay or Craigslist, perhaps. But the ATR2100X is awesome. 
minus the accessories. The accessories are terrible. And then there's the Samson Q2U. This, I gotta say, is the best value. At $59 only, it sounds comparable to all these others. And of course, you'd have it a little bit closer to your mouth when recording a podcast. For live streams, it's a little bit less powerful than the X over here, but it does everything you need to do. And it plugs in via USB, it's solid. The accessories are great for, again, the price, much better than the X. Interestingly enough, the accessories that come with the Samsung Q2U uh, are very similar to what they were with the ATR2100, except better. You get you get a you even get an extension to raise the mic up a little bit more, and these are just way more durable. I, I would actually potentially use these if I didn't have a boom arm versus this piece of anyway. I would love to hear what you think. You heard the tests. You let me know what you think in the comment section below. And uh, once again, I appreciate you so much. Now in the last video, we also did a giveaway for anybody who commented, and guess what? I'm gonna do a giveaway once again, this time not for the ATR2100X, but for the Samsung Q2U. So all you need to do to qualify a week from the day this video comes out, I'm gonna select a winner, a random commenter to win one of the Samsung Q2Us. I love podcasting, it's my jam, I teach it, I love it, I have students who've gone on to go full time with it, and I hope that you'll get started on your journey too with podcasting, and of course it's great for video too and all the other things. So hopefully this test was useful and something that uh, could at least get you thinking to make a better decision if you're gonna decide on one of these microphones. Now, a question that you might have is, Pat, well what about the other USB microphones, like the Blue Yeti? Not a fan of the Yeti. I like the name, but not so much the microphone. It picks up too much room noise in my opinion. No! And it's great for live streaming, but in my opinion, that's about it. I'd much prefer any of these three microphones over the Yeti or the Snowball or the Ice or the whatever. For under a hundred bucks, pretty darn good, especially with the USB-C connection. So Team Flynn, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button for the algorithm for me. And of course, as always, Team Flynn for the win.